Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ebony and I make videos on fashion and styling. So if you're into that kind of thing, then you should definitely, definitely stick around. Now, today's video is going to be a Christian Dior inspired thrift haul. I've done one of these before on Chanel and I think I wanna definitely keep on doing them with different designers. So today we're doing Dior. Now, when you think about Dior, it's kind of interesting because there's been quite a few creative directors of the house. So it's kind of like which era of Dior are we talking about? Like which one do we want to go into? So I picked my um, three favorites. So it's obviously Christian Dior himself. I did a few things that were inspired by like the John Galliano Dior and also the current creative director Maria Grazia Tiorti. Um, her most recent collections I did, uh, most of these looks are based on that, but I have some items that fall into all three of those different categories. Um, and also this is going to be like a fall thrift haul. So these outfits are going to be fall to get you inspired for your fall shopping. So um, it's a fall Christian Dior inspired thrift haul. So uh, I'm gonna get right into the items that I got. So this first top is this really pretty bronze. It's polyester, but it has that satin texture um, button up top. Um, now this for me falls into Christian Dior himself. Um, so he's credited with the new look, which is that like, buttoned up, super cinched waist, big full skirt that you know of like vintage Dior. Um, so when I saw the collar of this shirt and how it buttoned all the way up to the top, I immediately thought it would look so, so cute in the fall. And of course this color screams fall. So um, I'm going to show you guys exactly how I style it. But yeah, this is definitely a good basic to have. You can throw a cardigan over it. You can wear out with jeans and boots and look a little bit more put together because because of the texture, the satin automatically makes it a little bit more dressy. So I'll show you guys how I style this right now. The next thing is something that's inspired more by the John Galliano time of Dior, and it's gonna be this polka dot skirt with this super cute, flirty, um, not quite shark bite, but um, just asymmetrical hem. I don't know the name for that, but anyway, you guys can see the bottom here, how it has a lot of movement and bounce. And so one thing that I noticed about a John Galliano uh, when he did Dior, it's very couture, very structural, um, but also really, like it some, like skims the woman's body. Like think about Carrie Bradshaw again, a lot of what she wore was John Galliano's Dior. So this reminded me of that because it's very early 2000s in the style. It's like a midi skirt that's going to drape over the body and then have this loose hanging type deal here. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I style this one. inspired by the most recent, um, well not the most recent, but one of the most recent uh, Dior shows. It's the fall 2021 show. Now one thing I noticed about that show is it's really cool. The color scheme was very much deep navy denim, um, a little bit of gold thrown in there, and a pops of red. There was also a lot of open knit and things like that. So I saw this red open knit top. It has like an open back here, but it just really reminded me of the fall 2021 show from Dior. So, um, and also like I had this amazing skirt in my wardrobe already that I also thrifted and I thought it would be so good and really channel that show. So I'll show you guys exactly how I style it. But honestly, I just love this top. It's another one of those things that is really good. Um, probably for most seasons. Obviously in the dead of winter, you're not gonna wanna have your back out, but you can easily wear something under it so it's covered and then put a jacket on and you won't see the back. 
but really the star of the show is this like texture and honestly the color it's such a rich red so I really 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 love this that was really cool also need to mention I got all of this stuff at the Goodwill at my local Goodwill so yeah that's the next thing and you guys can see exactly what I mean about styling it now The next thing is another more current thing that I was inspired by. Now, guys, look at this bag. <laughs> so it's a tote bag. It kind of leans towards summer, but I think um, I can show you guys exactly how I kind of make it lean like a little bit to the fall. Like that. This is something I would wear more now, but look. It has that leopard print on the side that's so indicative of the Dior book totes. I know you guys have seen them, the ones that are all leopard print. Um, with a little handle and it just reminds me of Dior because it's a little tote with a leopard print I couldn't pass this one up when I knew I was doing a video on Dior So I'll show you guys exactly how I style this. This will be more like a transitional look It's not for like the dead of fall because I feel like this is a lot more summery especially with the shade of blue But um, I'll show you guys exactly how I style it for more of a transitional look The next thing is another thing that I noticed on the most recent runway and it's also a trend for fall in general which is kind of the glitz and glamour so that's sequins, that's metallic threading. Um, in the Dior show they definitely had a lot of little accents of like little gold flecks running through the suits or um, and through like the thread on the jackets. Um, another thing, I'm just going to kind of go through a few of the things that I noticed since we're on the topic. Um, a lot of, with Dior, especially for this Fall 21, and I, I don't know if it's the Spring, no, it's the Resort 2022 collection as well. There was a lot of shearling. There's shearling in this Fall one, so I would keep your eye out for shearling, leopard print, um, metallic thread. We saw a lot of plaid, um, like red, navy type plaid and um, like parka material, which I'll get into because I have a piece that falls into that, that, which I saw for the Resort 2022 collection from Dior. But we have a lot of that going on, so just keep those little elements in mind if you are going thrifting and you're trying to get um, Dior looks from the most recent collections. But staying in the same vein as the metallic thread, I saw this sweater. It is like oversized, which is good, especially for me in the fall because I could wear it over leggings to run out, I can tuck it in, I can wear it over a dress and have something peeking out under it, I can do a lot with it. So I have this little, it's not ripped, but it's just this really cute metallic gold sweater with the gold flex running through, which I think is so spot on for some of the stuff that I saw in the most recent Dior collection. So um, this is definitely something that is, I think a dime a dozen in this direction can find something similar. So I'll show you guys exactly how I style this in a Dior fashion now. But next up, we have another uh, thing that's inspired by like the John Galliano era of Dior, and it's going to be this dress here. It's black with this beautiful purple floral pattern all over it. It has little sequins and embellishments all over it, and then you can see it has like a like cowl neck, and then the bottom is so loose and flowy and flirty, and it ties at the waist. Now again, like I said. 
the John Galliano Dior was definitely really into this vibe of like wispy, whimsical ruffles, like a little bit chiffon, maybe kind of sheer. This dress isn't sheer, but um, you guys get the vibe. Again, think Carrie Bradshaw, a lot of what she wore was Dior, so um, that's kind of the vibe for that. So I love dresses like this. I have so many in my wardrobe that are like a little bit embellished, midi length, and they're so great for fall. You can literally just throw them on with some boots and a blazer and go. Um, put a turtleneck underneath, different things that you can do to make it for fall. And I think this color palette with a black base is really fall. Um, and keep in mind that this fall color is going to be a little bit more in than I think it normally is. So um, keep your eye out for like punchier colors in the fall. So I think this purple definitely fits that bill for the for the like trends. But um, also for me, this is something that I would wear anytime. So I really, really love this piece. And of course, just with these flutter sleeves and the cowl neck and the ruffles at the bottom, it just totally screamed like John Galliano Dior to me when I found it in the thrift store. So I'll show you guys how I style this for fall coming up. Back to the like parka raincoat material that I was talking about with Maria Grazia Chiori's Dior. Um, this is definitely not something new, but I it was just like smacking me in the face, especially for the uh, Resort 2022 collection. Just kind of like tan rain jacket type deal, like really athleisure, um, but it's kind of like that rain material. So I found this skirt, which is like super super into that um, whole vibe. There's also a lot of shearling in that collection so you'll see how I style it. I kind of played off the shearling texture with this skirt um, and also this is the brand Leaf Notes which I believe is a uh, anthropology brand so that's something that's really you know a good brand that I found in the thrift store and this is something that um, Lean's definitely more summery. It's part of the resort collection, but I feel like you can kind of make it into a transitional look. You'll see exactly how I do that coming up. But I really love this. It has pockets, of course, and the front is a little bit shorter than the back, which I think adds a lot of interest. So um, you guys can see exactly how I style this in a like fall transitional way and, an, and in a way that's inspired by Dior uh, Resort 2020. 2022, <laughs> coming right up. And last but certainly not least is this top right here. Now something that you guys haven't really seen me styling for fall before. I do have some old videos from the past um, past fall, but I know a lot of you guys are new so you might not have seen my fall styling yet. It's mostly been summer, but I love ponchos. I've been kind of starting my own little collection of them because I feel like it's such an easy way to look chic put together but a little bit different in the fall it's different than just wearing like a cable knit sweater and it's so warm you throw on a turtleneck and it's like wearing a blanket out but like a fashionable blanket so i have a few and you guys will definitely be seeing those over the next couple of months when i start doing all my fall looks but this screamed the most recent dior show i will show you guys pictures and everything on the side but open knit and like a wider, like a little bit granny chic, but like an open knit in this cream color was definitely prevalent throughout the fall of 2021 Dior show. Um, so I saw this and it's a poncho. So it's actually perfect for me and perfect for, um, you know, kind of like inspired by Dior. So you guys can see exactly how I style this here. And um, yeah my tip is definitely to get yourself a poncho so that you can have a socially acceptable blanket but you guys will see exactly how i style this one for fall in a christian dior inspired way right now
guys. So as you can see, that was super fun styling for Christian Dior and I want to leave you guys with some tips on what to do and what to look for if you are out thrifting trying to get uh, similar looks or trying to get the Dior vibe without actually just but going out and buying Dior because you know that's what I do here just because you're wearing a piece if you really like the, the essence of the brand I want to teach you guys exactly how to put those looks together whether or not you have Dior or you don't <laughs> you know what I mean and you can always mix in those pieces but I'm going to tell you guys exactly um, the process and what to look for so first off especially when it comes to Dior is I think you would need to pick kind of an era that you like or multiple based on the creative directors because their look has gone kind of in a lot of different directions. I would say the one thing that is um, universal to all the creative directors is that Dior has always been a house that celebrates femininity, which I think is so great, like no, in different ways. Like you have Maria Gratiaturi with just like the social message about femininity. You have Christian Dior who started it, who was really showing off the feminine figure with that big, you know, cinched waist, big skirt, uh, especially coming after like the war and after like the Jersey knit Chanel kind of like boy era, they were actually celebrating the like feminine form and like getting more excited about dressing again. And then you have John Galliano who has the fun, bright colors, the embellishments, like all the fun about femininity. So like all the, the whimsical ruffles. So they definitely kept that theme. So I think Dior is definitely, um, pays a lot of attention to femininity in different ways, so that's something to keep in the back of your head um, when you are shopping and also just picking kind of a, an era to go off of because they are a lot different aesthetically, even though they all have that same theme. Um, now, for the ones that I picked, I would say if you're going for Christian Dior, like original OG, I would look for things that are, have a lot of volume on the bottom. Um, he did have like straighter silhouettes as well, so he had the Y line, the H line, uh, what is the other one? Um, and the A-line as well. So like there's a lot of different looks you can go, but I would definitely say something that emphasizes the waist. I would um, go for things that have a lot of buttons and maybe just like a thick belt, like satins, like really structural, cool jackets. That's something I would look for. Um, if you are trying to do like the John Galliano type Dior, I definitely would keep Carrie Bradshaw in your mind. And then also I would go for things that are a little bit wacky, but they just kind of work. So like bright colors, chiffon fabrics, things with movement, things that kind of are skimming your body, not like skin, skin type, but definitely show the curves of your body. Um, ruffles, embellishments, um, think fun <laughs> if, you're, if you're trying to go for the John Galliano version. And then for Maria Grazia Chiuridi, oh, I keep saying her name and I probably say it different every time and I hope I'm not butchering it, but you guys know who I'm talking about. Um, for for her and the most current Dior, I think she and also especially a lot like the recent um, shows, definitely open knits. I would say denim, plaid, but like traditional plaid, like navy red. You guys have seen the pictures. Um, like raincoat, athleisure type material, shearling, leopard print for sure. Um, I think she uses a lot of navy in all of her collections, so I would keep in the navy vibe and like still strict tailoring because you'll see that she definitely has a lot of tailored things so I would go for tailored items um, and yeah so that's just a few things of course like if you have any questions please let me know I'll be happy to answer them I can't fit everything into the video um, but um, just keep those things in mind when you are thrifting and you want to channel a little bit of Dior um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video please let me know which outfit was your favorite down in the comments below and Please let me know which designer you'd like me to do this for next because I do have fun doing it. It takes me a little while. Like I don't, if I, I don't, I don't force it when I'm thrifting. So that's why this took a while. Like I try to really collect pieces that I liked and that also fit into that. So it takes me a little bit longer to do these, but I like doing them. So um, it may not be like every other video, but just let me know who you'd like to see next for when I do this. Uh, yeah. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you liked what you saw. Have something to say or just like to keep up with the rest of the fashion videos that I'll be posting here and. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Oof.